Hello everyone, it's Jess Hearts and today we are building a base game at Island Beach House. Now I have bought Solani, the Island Living Pack, but I saw a bunch of people, like literally heaps of people saying how they couldn't afford it and that they were down about it and everything like that and I was like, I can totally buy with that. I hated watching YouTubers back in the day and being annoyed I couldn't afford or play with the new stuff in the packs or anything like that so I thought I'd give this my best shot and build a base game island beach house so yeah I hope you guys enjoy it and I won't lie I was pretty happy with it as well <laughs> the patch came out um with the stilted foundations after I built this and I was like oh my god I spent ages messing around with those columns to make a stilted foundation all for nothing then I discovered you can't build with the stilted foundations over pools or ponds so I was like okay it wasn't for nothing I was stressing for no reason <laughs> it's kind of confusing how I made those columns sit in the water instead of on the top you build a basement underneath the pool then scroll up with the column until it hits the other column above the water and under the house it's confusing I know you're better off just doing it yourself and messing around <laughs> this is why I suck at teaching people stuff like I get impatient with myself and just like I just give up like I explain it super poorly and then I go lol why don't you get it I'm just a bad teacher also I'm pretty sure a lot of people are sick and tired of um the island living island living stuff going around and you know I, I understand that I'm it's pretty overwhelming to be honest and like as I'm recording this it's not even out yet and I know a lot of people like I'm over it over it <laughs> But I would be lying if I said I wasn't excited to start building with the new stuff. I think that'll be like late tonight. So I'm tempted to stay up, but I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've also been loving building a base game at the moment. It's a challenge, but it's amazing what great things you can achieve with only base game. Like obviously with all the awesome patches and updates we have gotten, that has made it a lot easier and like, you know, less poo. But I think base game can end up looking pretty snazzy. I also started a new base game build challenge. It's... um. Hashtag Jess Hearts Build Challenge 3. Very creative name, I know. And you have, I think, until the 10th of July to put in your entries. Rules are you cannot put on put any walls um outside of the house, but you can put them on the inside. Um, half walls are allowed as well as um, fences. And you can put, like, decking and pools on the outside. You can put, like, more foundations on the outside and everything like that. Uh, you can change the colours of the foundations that are already there and the stairs, so you, ha you don't have to stick with that base white theme. I'm probably forgetting some rules, so I'll put it in the description of the video. I also um, did my own version, so if you want to use that as inspiration, you can. Also, my Twitter is there if you want to say hi. <laughs> anyway, back to the build. We're doing the basic shell here, and yeah, you can really kind of see it coming together. I ended up, um, what's it called? Putting in a skylight because I did want, like, I don't know, just, would you see a skylight in a tropical build? I don't know. I just wanted some more windows. So yeah, you can see I'm adding a lot of windows in the exterior, not keeping it kind of, it, I think this could easily be turned into kind of a lake, like cabin that you'd see in maybe Alaska, but yeah, it's kind of tricky with the packs that we have, but I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I think it looks pretty, um, island living-esque. But yeah, it was really a lot of fun making this. I was sitting there in bed and was frustrated. I couldn't play with the Island Living Pack, as I'm sure a lot of you guys are. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to just build my own Solani. Bugger them. <laughs> so I did. And I think it looks like a beach, aside from the background. I was half tempted to, like, build a big wall surrounding the whole lot, right? And make it look like a beachy island facade. But then I realised as I had, like, partially made it, it's also not in the video, obviously, I edited that out, that it would be in perpetual daytime. So, like, you know, it wouldn't have looked good at night. It would have just been, like, this bright blue facade with the sun or anything. Yeah, so I thought it looked terrible. So I chucked that idea out the metaphoric window and just built the beach as is. It looks kind of silly sitting in Willow Creek, but whatever. <laughs> I also was half tempted to build a mini volcano, and then I thought that might look a bit cheesy. If you guys would like a tutorial on how to make a volcano home, let me know. Yous probably really don't want one, and it's kind of unnecessary, but, you know, I kind of want to build one, so... I might build one. <laughs> anyway, how's everyone's week been? I won't lie, the first couple nights of having a puppy were really intense. He has to sleep with my other dog, Polly, in my parents' room. Like, they have the separate little beds, but my parents wanted Polly to have a friend because 
she got really, really sad after her cat Bronson died. Like, proper doggo depresso. It was not nice. But I think it's like the fourth or fifth day. It's been a bit of a blur, but they are getting along so, so well. I was so happy. They were like playing together all yesterday and today. And they even drank from the same bowl. Then they looked at each other and Milo just licked Polly's chin. It, it was a very beautiful moment. <laughs> My parents were super stressed and worried that Polly would kind of react poorly to the whole situation. And I won't lie, she was a bit weird at the at first about the whole thing not jealous but apprehensive like what the heck is this little thing in my house but now they are just Polly and Milo move out of the way Milo and Otis it's Polly and Milo or Milo and Polly um also I haven't seen that movie but I don't even want to due to that animal violence that went on behind the scenes like I looked it up the other day not acceptable anyway lighter note Milo is getting better and is not as dependent on me. By the way, this is my first time having a puppy, so I'm kind of overwhelmed by being followed around all the time and having to take care of him. I love it. I love cuddling with him and playing with him and teaching him stuff. It's super fun, but I don't want him to be coddled, you know? I don't want him to be completely dependent on me all the time and just like, I have to be there for him to be happy. Like, when I leave the house, I want him to still be a happy little puppy. Obviously, a little bit sad that I'm gone, but I don't want him to just sit there and be like, I'm going to be sad until mum gets home, you know? And I was up really late the other night reading about how you should parent puppies because he would wander up the hallway at night and squeak outside my room until I let him in and then into my bed to sleep. But he was good last night and I slept, oh sorry, he slept in his own bed, thank gosh. Um, I'm just worried that he, you know, he won't grow up to his full doggo potential. But I discovered he loves watching puppy videos. Now what I mean by that is there's like these specific videos online that have like squirrels and animals or birds in them and the puppy can sit there and watch them and he loves to sit there with my tablet and watch them he gets like super calm and like falls asleep watching them I don't use that tablet anyway so it's pretty much his now but yeah that's that's pretty much the puppy update also if you hear squeaking that's why I have distracted him with the tablet in the living room but we all know what puppies can be like so he might come over and be like yo pay attention to me bish (laughs) <laughs> anyway back to the build and yeah you can see we've done like the pretty much the bottom floor and I like using these um, shelves to add a little bit of extra va va voom to the base game items because otherwise you know when you use the same item over and over again it gets a bit I guess um boring or repetitive so I like using those little shelves to kind of add an extra detail and I think it looks all right and I'm pretty sure they can use it like I don't think shelves um get in the way of sims at all so yeah I think it looks cool let me let me know what you guys um think and also let me know if you're gonna buy the island living pack or are you waiting for the realm of magic I am so bloody excited for that I know some people don't go much on occults and sims and I'm kind of with you there I don't go much on them sort of but I am so keen for witches in The Sims 4. Like, I don't play as anything but a witch in The Sims 3. You can tell I really like that life state. Also, I'm just keen for new items and stuff. It's going to be interesting and magical. I'm also wondering, are they going to go down, like, that stereotypical witchy, um... Victorian route like kind of gothic I suppose or are they going to go down that bohemian semi-dark kind of route that's kind of modern now well I hope they go that way anyway I really really like how that stuff kind of looks I don't know witches are kind of perceived as these devil worshipping things that are evil and sacrifice sheep but I'm here to say those ones are the bad ones there's good witches too they love nature and treat the planet and its inhabitants well if y'all don't believe me, just go watch Harry Potter <laughs> or The Craft. Oh, The Craft is actually one of my favorite movies. Or Practical Magic. I love that movie and book. If you're into that kind of stuff, I suggest you go read and watch those. Um, yeah, see, find examples of how witches and wizards aren't all bad. I don't know. I just hope they give some modern options for them. Like, in this day and age, it's 2019, not all whiz, ki- whiz kids are running around with pointy hats and cloaks. They are probably running around wearing Doc Martens and listening to the Pixies and the Smiths. <laughs> Well, that might just be me, actually. Um, <laughs> go listen to the Pixies, actually, if you like like 90s grunge rock music. I don't know. But yeah, they're really good, actually. They're one of my fair bands. <laughs> I am in such a weird mood today. Sorry if you can tell. Oh, yeah. Just a thought also, saying the craft. How cool would it be if I started like a craft let's play? So pretty much like 
you come into this town as a witch kind of thing and you go to a school and that's pretty much like the premise of the craft but I won't go into details there maybe I could do my own version I don't know I know I don't do let's plays or anything like that I've just done builds or tours so far but I want to broaden my horizons video wise because I don't always want to build and I love writing and I think it'd be fun to write a let's play Hmm, let me know what you guys think. Oh yeah, I totally actually have a really funny story, but I doubt I'm gonna have the time to tell you guys. But pretty much a long, long time ago before I even did Twitter, I was um, having a bit of a juice with my mate and I ended up saying something when I was buzzed and I said, Detective Jess is on the cake. So yeah, that became a bit of a meme. Instead of Detective Jess is on the case, it was cake. So yeah, that became a bit of an inside joke. Anyway, this lady came to my mum's work and gave us a chocolate cake. And then mum's like, this doesn't taste right. This tastes fake. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to research this. And then I went on Woolies, which is like a supermarket website. By the way, this lady said she made this cake. And then I found the exact same cake on Woolworths. And I'm like, this lady's lying. <laughs> but now I can finally say Detective Jess is on the cake with full confidence. I called my boyfriend. I told my mum. And I am a proud, proud detective. This isn't a funny story. I just think it's funny. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the build. I'm sorry this is a quick goodbye. But yes, remember to subscribe, like and comment, tick that bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!